Hola chicos, hola chicos, hola chicos, ya estamos aquí en The Walking hey, Dead Episodio 1, capítulo 2 Venga, vamos a ver cómo empieza la historia That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Um. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. Our family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Mm. But, sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, Hostia, ¿cómo se parece a la madre a la madre de Aida, tío? Clementine. Yeah. Es la madre de Aida, tío. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool. Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Es cagada la madre de Aida, tío. Joder. Ya, pues venga, a reparar tú y yo qué hago. Vale, pues venga, vamos a movernos, vamos a hablar con con ella. No la puedo hablar con nadie, vale, perfecto. Como siempre. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Gracias, mi amor. A ver, tú qué? Te ayudo. Uh, a ver, aquí no. A ver. Vale, ahí. Hey there, uh, Kenny. A ver, ¿cuál es tu plan? So, what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could. Hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Um, how's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Correcto. Mira. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No tengo hijos. No, 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 no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. <laughs> Qué rápido cortó, tío. Vamos a ver si puedo hablar con estos. Así, mira, puedo hablar. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Vale, y con la madre de Aida también puedo hablar. ¿no? Hey there, girls. Mmm... <laughs> You two actually look relaxed. I can't bear the load. Doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So you're good. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? No? ¿A qué te dedicas? So, uh. What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Coño. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, 
I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Mm. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Bueno, pues venga, vamos a ir a ayudar a los otros. A ver, por aquí no puedo ver nada, ¿no? Ah, la historia interesante, ¿eh? Ahí estamos aquí, vamos a hablar con el niño. <risa> Esta es Manolain cuando era pequeño, tío. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Bueno, fuera. A ver, por aquí. No, tendré que hablar con el otro, seguramente. Vamos a hablar con este. Hey Lee. ¿Le estás ayuda? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Uh, you gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Eh, Sometimes it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Mm. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Vamos con el padre, ¿verdad? ¿no? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the US farm bill though. I'm good. Ah, para que no hay nada más que hacer, ¿no? Hey Lee. No. I'm gonna go uh, <coughs> check on the others. Whatever you want, man. Venga, vamos a ir con, con el padre entonces. No sé por qué. Me da que no me quiere. Hablar con... Venga, pues hablar, hablar. Desconfía el pavo, tío. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Eh... I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy... Dale, ya conté mentiras, tío. Hmm. La cagada. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. 
That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Mmm, you're supposed to be in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Mmm. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can Ooh. I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Hostia! Hostia! Go! I'll get my gun! Hostia, están ahí ya. Joder. Al niño, al este, al niño, al niño, al niño, al niño. Toma. Adiós. Bueno, la puntería al viejo. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now, please, just go. Get out and never come back. Joder, tío, ¿qué, qué habréis hecho vosotros? Salvar al niño, ¿no? Digo yo. Joder, tío. Pero salvar a un niño sal... o salvar a un, ad un adulto, tío. En fin, pues nada. No pasa nada. Nos iremos, tío. Bueno, a ver, a ver para dónde vamos ahora. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Farmacia. Look. Hey there. No. You friendly? Pero qué haces, tío. La has cagado. Bueno. Hostia, el niño, el niño. Toma. Hostia, la MacGyver, tío.
We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Woof, 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 woof. You're a dumb, careless kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, 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 no. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. Oh, Dad, you need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bike. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Dios. Volpelo, te da una hostia. This guy out. Happily. Jesus! Come on. Oh, man. La niña. No! Jesus! Come on! No, levanta, levanta, levanta. Clementine. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué hago? Voy para allá. No, no. Tío. Hostia. Nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Mm. There's probably another entrance. 
Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Creo que la estoy cagando. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Mm. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep it haciendo largo el juego, tío. Pura película esto. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Bueno, tío, por fin, joder, esto es que tú tienes más historia, tío. No, no se juega nada, eh. A ver, vamos a ver con esto. Es que hay que hablar, tío. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Mm. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Uh... That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Hmm. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. No. Couldn't figure it out, huh? Uh, no, espera, 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 espera. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. <coughs> Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Vale, vale, vamos allá. A ver, tuning. Vale, pues por lo visto no puedo hacer gran cosa aquí. ¿eh? Ah, power. Nothing. No tiene pila solo. ¿eh? Vale, ponemos volumen. Aquí no podemos mover. Por aquí tampoco. A ver, aquí. No tiene batteries in this thing. Tiene pilas, tío. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Vale, pues hay que buscar pilas, hay que buscar pastillas. Aquí tenemos periódico. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Vale, pues por aquí hay una caja. Like no a this all went down. Este es el mostrador, ¿no? Vamos a ir con la niña. A ver. Vamos a ver si tenemos algo por aquí. Pila, a ver aquí hay algo. Vale, pues una barrita o no sé qué es. Vamos a seguir. Vamos con la niña. A ver cómo está la niña. ¿Verdad? Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah. 
I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Porque soy yo el pavo. Si no sospechaba de okay. mí, pero bien, tío. A ver, Clementine, vamos a darte la barrita para que comas. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Bueno, pues ya está. Eh. Vamos a ver. The pills are in there. Vale, pues hay que encontrar unas llaves, ¿no? Vale, con esto no puedo hablar. Aquí hay una puerta. Es que ya está, me da miedo abrir la puerta, tío. Y ya por aquí ya no hay nada, ¿no? Hay otra barrita aquí. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Eh, a ver... ¿Por qué me ha salido algo ahora? Bueno, pues no hay nada. Ah, me había dicho Noet, es que por qué... Vamos a la barrita del niño, tío. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. ¿Hablo con estos o qué? Si voy a hablar con el niño, tío. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. No me gracias. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Eh, su familia está muerta, tío. Se lo voy a decir. Family's dead, so. That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well. She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Tiene razón, Eugenio. A ver cuál es el plan. No. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Joder, el Doc tiene que estar traumadísimo, tío. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Mm, Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Pues le voy a decir, tío, que la farmacia es de ellos. They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happen. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Yes. Try to let it go. Correcto, tío. Pues no podíamos hacer otra cosa, tío. O era el niño o era él. ¿No? Joder, tío. Cada vez que abro la boca, tío. Ah, bueno, puta. Ahora vamos a entrar aquí. <coughs> Es el jodido, tío, que tengas a tus padres ahí y que... Uf. Hostia, que hace la Clementine ahí de repente, tío.
Bueno, eh, vamos a ver. Vamos a coger la foto. Pues sí, mira, está el ahí, tío. Pero no entiendo, tío, ¿por qué quiere...? Toma. Pillada, tío. Foto de la familia que owned este lugar. Podría ayudarnos a track down las keys to the office. I know who you are. Toma. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Eh, uh, sí. Sí. What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Gracias. Hostia, no sé, tío. Nada. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Puf, no sé, tío. Es que... Esto es para desconfiar de todo el mundo, tío. Ahora vamos a ver por el callejón. Vale, pues ahí está cerrado. Perfecto. A ver, ¿por dónde puedo ir? A ver, Clementa, vamos a hablar con ella, tío. Uf. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I was scared. Yeah. I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. Well, I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. La puerta. Un palo, que coño era eso de un bastón. Es un bastón, sí. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? No, nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. <laughs> we gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Vale. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Ha estado miedosa la cosa, tío. Pero cómo se ha traducido esto, tío? Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Veamos. Primeros auxilios detrás, eh. Do you have kids? No. No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. 
Qué, qué cortante me vi, tío. <ríe> qué borde. Venga, un poquito más, venga. Vamos, Clementine. Tira ahí. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Porque están muertos. No. Ah, sí, ven. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone. Siempre que abro la boca, la cago aquí. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. <laughs> la cara de la niña. Hostia. Se ha cortado. Okay. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Yep. I'll find you a bandage. Vale, pues venga, bien botiquín. Aquí está, mira, ves. Vale, pues vamos a usar. Con la niña. Let's have a look at that finger. Tío, la historia va lenta, eh. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Listo. Bueno, a ver qué más puedo hacer. ¿Eh? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uf. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Pobre tía. Pobre niña, tío. Uh. The parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or protect him, at least. Porque palo, tío. A ver, aquí ya no puedo coger nada, ¿no? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. A ver, aquí hay un cajón, vamos a verlo. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Y que no vamos a poner a ver la televisión ahora, ¿vale? Es bastante perdidillo, ¿eh? Bueno, pues nada, venga, vamos a ver si podemos abrir la puerta. Cerrada, tío. Vale, pues vamos a entrar aquí. Vamos a entrar aquí. Vamos a entrar aquí. Pues entonces... ¿Puedo hablar con Clementine o no? No, venga. Ay, coño. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Bueno, pues creo que aquí no hay nada ya. Me parece. A ver, aquí hay estanterías. No se puede. Televisión, ya la vimos. Botiquín ya está. Nada, pues me queda hablar con Clementine. Y ya saldríamos de aquí, porque aquí no... Seguramente, seguramente estarán fuera los cadáveres y te ha puesto lo que quieras. Así que venga. Bueno. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. Bueno, yo creo que todos los diálogos ya quitando este. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. 
Yo he escuchado lo del otro. Vale, pues ya está. Venga, vamos a, a salir entonces. Pues aquí no creo que haya nada más. Quitando la cama y... Y poco más. A ver si puedo avanzar un poquito hacia adelante. No, aquí no hay nada. No hay nada. Bueno, pues nada, habrá que salir y... Y seguramente buscar a los padres fuera, imagino. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Puff, que le respondo a la niña ahora, tío. Es complicado. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen there. You do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Oh, cada vez que abro la boca, tío, la lío. Eh. Ah, bueno, hay que ser claros. ¿eh? A ver, con esto no puedo hablar todavía, ¿no? No, vale. Bueno, vamos a tener que ir fuera, ¿eh? A ver, aquí hay algo. Baterías, mira, aquí hay baterías. Vale, pues entonces vamos a ir eh, con la chica. Bueno, con la radio. ¿Dónde está la radio, tío? Vale, está aquí. Hey there. This is Glenn and uh I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Well, pues nada. Vamos a... No está la radio, tío. No, pues ahora que ir hasta allí. A ver... This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I ah, vale. It. Encontré una. Vale, vale. Falta otra. Hey, Carly. Nada. Sorry. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Bueno, pues nada, vamos a buscar una batería. Seguramente aquí no la va, no la va a ver. Seguramente, no sé por qué me da. Vamos a seguir buscando. A ver, aquí no hay baterías. Si no, podemos pues tener que salir hacia allá. Y ahí está el motel. Vale. Vamos a ver, cajones. A ver, aquí había una batería, tío. Bueno, pues ya la buscaremos, tío. Seguramente eso, eso será para más, más adelante. A ver. Bueno, aquí puedo hablar con. Antes no podía hablar con ella. Seguramente es para salir, así vamos a convencerla, seguramente. Cajero automático. A ver, vamos a ver aquí. Tiene una otra barrita aquí. Eso no estaba antes, ¿no? A ver, vamos a ver por aquí. Eh, aquí no hay nada. Vamos a hablar con la tipa esta y... Y en cuanto lo podamos dejar, pues lo dejamos. ¿Cómo está 
I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Mm. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Oh, and Lee? Yeah? It was a crazy situation, and you froze. Before, with that thing coming out of the bathroom? <sighs> yeah. Just don't beat yourself up over it. We stick together and we'll be okay. Okay. Bueno, pues nada. Pues venga, vamos a, a ver. Falta hablar con el chavo. Joder, es que no, si no puedo guardar, tío. Cajero automático. A ver, voy a hablar con este. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside? Esto parece una tel telenovela, tío. I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Eh... Venga, vamos a investigar. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to run back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Por eso que no hay mucho que hacer, la verdad. Si pudi. Y no puedo abrir esto, ¿no? Hey man, what are you doing? 
We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Es que la llave está fuera, tío. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Pues no, no están, tío. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of you? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. Well, boys, huh? How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh, I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Ah, pues vamos para adentro, tío. Let's head back inside. Okay. Bueno, pues nada, le voy a decir a la pava que estamos listos para irnos y nos iremos porque... Su puta madre, tío. Vamos con la... Yo a esta ya, ya hemos guardado, entonces mejor lo dejamos aquí, chicos. Que creo que se ha alargado mucho ya. Esto, perdonad, que es una telenovela, tío. O sea, no puedo comentar nada porque son diálogos todo el tiempo. Así que nada, seguiremos con esta aventura y nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo. Espero vuestros comentarios como siempre y nos vemos. Chao, chao.